All right, folks, I have some people will concern an issue with the uh, hematite rock. This is hematite, which is basically iron oxide. Um, their concern was that I was getting voltage due to the fact that there's metal uh, on this electrode or this alligator clip itself. So they th they're thinking I'm getting the voltage due to the metal right here. And they think the water, the rock is um, wet. Um, and the wetness is traveling past that and using basically they're, they're thinking that this is an electrode and I'm using that the copper as an electrode. It's a very valid argument but uh, this video is about how this is not. Uh, I got copper. Notice how the copper which is the, or the rag and uh, rock is sitting on top of the copper is going to the black um, probe. It means it's negative. That means it's the, the electrode that will corrode and the rock is the positive. So I'm going to put, I'm going to show you the voltage. Notice that's a positive voltage. Positive 200, positive 300 millivolts. Different spots of the rock give you different voltages. Notice that's positive 300 millivolts. Now watch when I take the metal of the alligator clip and put it on the damp rag. You notice I get negative, see? A negative 400 millivolts. And do it again to the rock. Positive voltage. So that's the best way I can prove that I'm not using the electrode on the, I'm not using the metal on the alligator clip. Um, but yeah, I can pretty much use uh, any metal as a negative electrode, even graphite. On um, this one, this is hematite too, and you can see there's a gold. There's a gold uh, magnet. That's gold-coated magnet. It's actually a new demon magnet. You can see it's attracted to the hematite rock. So we're gonna take this gold-plated. Let's see here. We'll take this. Take the copper out. So this may be a little difficult. You can see. The gold magnet is on the other side of the uh, the uh, alligator clip. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put this gold magnet onto the wet cloth. Maybe we should get some voltage. You can see. We're getting voltage from gold, and gold is the negative electrode on this. And I know people might say I'm getting an alligator clip on there. But that's that's voltage from a negative gold electrode. I mean that's voltage from a gold. No, I can't I can't guarantee that this gold I'm pretty sure that gold's not pure. Um but yeah, it's an interesting fact that gold it's you know, it's just interesting to see that gold could be a negative electrode. And so can other electrodes like I got aluminum wire here. We're getting 1.5 pretty much. And uh, let me grab some random. I don't know if it's a good. Uh, it's not a good piece. But you, you understand this is interesting. You usually don't see the copper being a positive electrode. I mean, you usually see the po copper as a positive electrode. You never see it as a negative electrode. It's especially interesting, um, but yeah, the rock is called hematite. You can get it on eBay. It's basically iron oxide. It's actually um, mine. This hematite's mine for uh, so it could be turned into iron. So yeah, there you have it, folks.